13 Ways to Become a Better Cook Cooking is an ability that improves and creates over the long haul with training. Nobody is an astounding cook from the very first moment. I instructed myself a great deal through experimentation before I went to culinary school. At the outset, I had a couple of triumphs and a huge load of fizzles. I don't need you to battle and get disappointed as I did, so I have some supportive tips for you. 1. Use spices and flavors. There is something else entirely to preparing than salt and pepper. Embrace the force of new spices and dried flavors. Spices and flavors are otherworldly and fundamental for adding flavor and profundity to any dish. Utilizing spices and flavors takes your taste buds on a culinary experience. They can change plain chicken into an Italian dining experience or an Indian buffet. Spices and flavors are additionally an extraordinary method to support the kind of dish without adding calories. 2. Mise en place. No, I am not communicating in English. Mise en place is a French expression utilized in culinary circles that signifies setting up. If you hear some extravagant foodie say that they prepared their mise, it implies that all fixings have been accumulated and prepared for cooking. Potatoes are stripped, onions are cut, rosemary leaves took from the twig, everything is all set. On the off chance that you hold on to slash that onion while the skillet is warming up with oil, you will risk smoking the oil. With regards to cooking, timing is everything, and it's ideal to have everything prepared and set up before you turn on the oven. 3. Deal with your blades. A sharp blade is everything. There is no instrument more significant in the kitchen than a decent blade. It makes your time in the kitchen simpler, more effective, and, in all honesty, a sharp blade is more secure. A dull blade is a risky blade because the power expected to make a dull blade slice makes you bound to harm yourself than if you utilized a sharp blade. There are a couple of significant hints to focusing on your blades. To start with, don't place your blades in the dishwasher. The warmth from the dishwasher will dull the blades. Sharpen when each utilization to keep your edge straight and sharp. Blades bang around whenever left free in a cabinet, dulling the edges of the blade. It is ideal if they are put away in sleeves, in a square, or on an attractive strip. At last, utilize just plastic or wood cutting sheets. Try not to cut on glass or marble. This is ensured to dull, chip or break your blade, also the frightful sound it makes. At whatever point a blade hits a surface, minuscule burrs structure on the metal making the edge dull. 4. Outfit the force of corrosive. Have you at any point taken a nibble of food and contemplated internally, that preference is great yet it's a little blah? Not blah in that it tastes dull yet blahs in it needs energy. It's practically similar to your food is, lazy. Almost certainly, what it needs is a hint of corrosive as citrus or vinegar. Adding corrosive to a dish will immediately light it up giving it life. Acids, particularly citrus, are best when added toward the finish of cooking. 5. Peruse the formula. Perusing the formula through is particularly significant in case you're another cook. Interaction and strategy matter and to effectively execute a dish, it's critical to realize what's in store and not miss a stage. There isn't anything more disappointing than requiring a dish to be prepared quickly and understanding that something needs to marinate or cool for 60 minutes. Perusing a formula initial right through will assist you with keeping away from dissatisfaction and make cooking a positive encounter. 6. Utilize a thermometer. Quit writing your meat to check if it is finished. Cutting into proteins when the entirety of the delectable juices are rising at the surface will make the juices spill out and dry the meat. Put resources into a trustworthy advanced thermometer to check the inside temperature. 7. Salt. Salt is a characteristic flavor enhancer and can pull out stunning flavors from the easiest formula. In case you're utilizing iodized table salt, think about changing it to fit salt. Fit salt has a cleaner flavor, and the huge drops make it harder to oversalt. Additionally, salt as you cook, which goes connected at the hip with tasting as you go, see beneath. 
salting as you go forms and layers flavor. Try not to fear salt, except if you have well-being worries. 8. Taste as you go. Flavors change and create as you cook. For instance, something may get saltier as dampness dissipates, or the dish may lose corrosive the more it cooks. It's critical to taste as you go so you'll know whether you need more salt, corrosive, or any zest. 9. Temper your protein. Regularly, the term tempered is applied to adding something hot to eggs, but at the same time, it's imperative to do it with your proteins. Before cooking, forget about your protein on the counter for 10 to 15 minutes to remove a portion of the chill. Throwing cold protein into a hot skillet makes it seize, which brings about an intense steak or cut of meat. Forgetting about it for a piece helps the protein cook all the more equally, keeping it delicate and succulent. 10. Dry your protein for a decent singe. Wipe your protein off with a spotless towel or paper towel before adding it to a hot skillet. On the off chance that a protein is wet when added to a hot skillet, it will steam rather than burn. To get a decent firm singe, it's important to eliminate any dampness. Burning protein seals it and helps keep in those great delectable juices. 11. Rest your protein. I know you're ravenous yet give that protein a moment to rest. It's been striving to get tasty. At the point when protein cooks, the entirety of the juices air pocket and bubble within. If you cut into it just after taking it, off the warm, those foaming juices will spill directly out. Give that steak time to rest so the juices quiet down and reallocate into the protein. 12. Toast Nuts At the point when I plonk down to compose a formula, I consider flavor as well as surface. At the point when I am hoping to add some surface to a formula, particularly fall plans, I love to utilize nuts. They are a simple method to add surface and intricacy of flavor. Notwithstanding, nuts can get expensive, so it's essential to capitalize on them. Toasting nuts makes them nuttier, enhances their normal flavor, and makes them crunchy. 13. Shred Your Cheddar to save time, we are completely enticed to snatch that sack of destroyed cheddar. Yet, pre-destroyed cheddar doesn't dissolve as cheddar is destroyed straight off the square. Bundled destroyed cheddar is covered with a light starch to hold it back from bunching. That starch meddles with the meltability of the cheddar and dulls the flavor. Setting aside the additional effort to shred cheddar yourself will ensure better softening and flavor. Click the subscribe button and remember to click the notification. Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends so that we can continue to let them watch more of these videos. Thanks for watching.